Squaw homies, it's K2 Plays here. Today, my little brother wanted to watch the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie. He was like, Mom, turn it on. I was like, she was like, okay. And I got this idea. What if, like, you know how Tina from Bob's Burgers, she writes her fan fictions, and you know how YouTubers, they read their really weird <laughs> sexual fan fictions? What about Diary of a Wimpy Kid fan fictions? This will be fun. I already found one. Fregly's moment. Fregly snaps one day and the fallout is intense. Well, this ought to be good. It was Greg's sophomore year of high school and he had finally managed to move past his wimpishness after several embarrassing incidents and much prodding from his dad. Greg was beginning to change. He started working out, dressing better, and wearing cologne. Okay, so, the whole dressing better and working out, those might not be things that kids do, but wearing cologne? Come on, dude! After a couple of years of this process, Greg had finally managed to join the popular crowd. Looking back on how he used to act in middle school, Greg could only cringe. He had distanced himself from Rowley a lot, and now he could see how many of the girls from middle school were only taking advantage of Rowley. Either way, Greg was sitting at a lunch table with his friends when suddenly Fregley walked into the center of the cafeteria, cafeteria and started screaming and tweaking. Fregley looked up at the ceiling and then said, My God has forsaken us. At this point, everybody was staring at Fregley. Then Fregley turned to look at Greg and he had a furious expression on his face. Fregley unzipped his bag and pulled out a pistol. Everybody was frozen in shock. And then BAM! Fregley fired the bullet towards Greg, hitting him in the stomach. Greg fell backwards on it onto the floor and in, and was in shock, clutching his stomach. Too long have I been regulated to the sidelines, to the garbage bins. This is my moment. Then Fregley began randomly shooting into the crowd and people began screaming and ranning out. Bryce and Leon heroically grabbed Greg and dragged him out. Fregley kept screaming and eventually ran out of the ca- <laughs> Oh my god, that line is amazing. But I'm gonna get in so much trouble if I say that. <laughs> Screamed Fregley, and he fired once more time, this time hitting Bryce in the back of the head. Oh, Bryce collapsed dead. Greg screamed and Fregley laughed. No, you know how it feels, don't you? <laughs> then Fregley was tackled to the side and crashed hard in the pavement, losing grip of his pistol. Greg's savior was none other than Rowley, who promptly grabbed the pistol and shot Fregley in the throat. Fregley began, okay. Rowley pointed the pistol at Greg's chest and said, back up, hands up. Then Rowley quickly pointed the pistol at Leon and shot him. Rally quickly returned to Greg, who had fallen on the floor, and was lightly crying. I said, back up! Rally screamed at Greg. Greg got up shakily and began backing up, and soon his back was at wall. Why did you abandon me, Greg? Do you know how it feels, Greg? Do you? Rally screamed and then fired again into Greg's shoulders. Greg screamed, then began crying. Who's the tough one? Who's the tough one now? <laughs> Greg sc Rowley screamed, spittle from his mouth. Oh yes, I remember. How could I forget the first day of high school? I went to sit at your table and you told me, get, get the f away from us, you p You know, I, I don't wanna get uh, in big trouble. I still remember how everyone at your table laughed. I guess this was your way of trying to prove yourself as cool to your little friends. Then, 
Rowley started pleading to Greg. But did, did you know that that day I spent three hours in the bathroom after school bawling my eyes out? My mom asked what was wrong, and that night I killed her. Then Rowley started laughing, and then turned serious. Oh, yes, you were not expecting that twist. <laughs> Rowley leaned in real close so that Greg could smell the stench of Rowley's breath, his hideously rotten yellow teeth, his greasy, long, matted hair, and the deep, dark circles beneath his eye. I don't know. My parents were telling me I couldn't be your friend, Rally whispered. I couldn't accept, lead, accept that, Hallie, because I love you, man. Then Rally pressed the pistol into Greg's neck and kissed Greg's forehead. Rally continued on. I had to kill my parents. I killed my parents because of you. And you rejected me? Rally began unzipping his pants and whispered, I love you, man. Greg couldn't allow this to continue, so he pushed into the wall onto Rowley, and Rowley instinctively fired into Greg's neck, killing him. Greg's corpse fell onto the floor, and Rowley screamed and placed the pistol in his mouth. And an interesting one Fregley becomes the shooter that that was funny and then and then um let's see here oh yeah and then Rowley becomes sort of the shooter yeah well I guess so he kills Gre Fregley and Leon and then Greg so then he's the shooter and then Rowley shoots himself, so, hmm, very, very interesting story.